Trauma Healing Program, story based with translation. So we are trying to take the oral based materials, which is based on stories, and translate it into mother tongues. So we have four language communities. We have the Bamakumbit, Bafanji, the Limbum, and the Bafut. Five participants per language community. So every day we present stories. And then we work in a circle in order to just do a trauma healing kind of experience. But we have questions that we take over and over and over till we go through the whole trauma healing process. So I am really happy to be back here in Cameroon. Last year, I was here with my husband and we did an initial workshop with these same people. So it is with great joy that I have come back 10 months later to hold up advanced workshop with the same people and to hear their stories about what they did with what they learned last year. They have been holding healing groups and we have heard many stories uh, from them of how God is healing wounded hearts, healing people's hearts who have been through some really terrible, scary things. But through this program, through the stories that they have learned to tell, through the activities and Bible verses, people are being healed and we thank God for that. During this training, we had the materials recorded. I mean, the stories were translated into the heart language of the participants. And this has multiple advantages. We are going to keep um, it in our backup, so it's going to serve as an archive. It's going to help the participants to refresh their minds anytime they want to tell the story. <laughs> This was just an amazing time. This is going to be very impactful in their communities as they will not only carry out healing through the materials they have, through the stories, but also through songs in their mother tongue. En fait, écrire les chansons, c'est un processus qui libère les pensées qui sont enfuies à l'intérieur de nous. On parvient à les extérioriser, les contempler physiquement sur du papier. Et aussi ces pensées ont le potentiel de toucher d'autres personnes qui passent par les mêmes situations que nous. The activities we have gotten here has made us to understand that any lesson goes with practical activities and we are really grateful to the facilitators. Once we've learned here, we are going to implement it back to so that we get everything in all the ends of government. Uh, the, our people have really been traumatized, so we want to use these lectures to calm down their minds, also empowering ourselves by uh, making some projects that can bring income so that we can pay children's school fee and uh, help our own selves. We started in uh, 14, that was a little bit challenging, but ending great, united, in harmony, 
and he that the sun sets free is free indeed so we promise to help our community to be relieved from all their worries we are very ready and we thank the organizers of this seminar our facilitators and we are all happy our mission is to turn from facilitators and we will continue to give you support but we want you to take the leadership to take the vision to own the vision and to run with it in your own communities yeah and we will continue to support you i am so grateful to god for what he has done in this workshop i feel like it's just been anointed by the holy spirit it was amazing i'm so encouraged that they are going to go back to their villages and it's going to make a change and when we were doing the activities of taking the pen to the cross we went outside we wrote everything on papers we went to that house and we burned them in fact i had a sigh of relief i feel the pens taken away and as we going back home we are going to use the knowledge we got from this workshop to help our traumatized brothers and sisters mm. who are back in the community. We want to use this opportunity to thank SIL through our directors present, mm. our Mama Kami, K, Blessing, and our brother Kelly, for all the knowledge they gave us during this seminar. We promise. Oh, my God.